that worked. Now, ah, how about... Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. Mamones, the fuck you doing here? <laughs> Very funny, but the joke's on you, cabron. Payasos, okay?
got a ticket? Not my problem. You don't got a ticket, you don't get in. Well, there's the ballerinas. They've been broke for a while now, and nobody knows how to fix them. If you got them going again, I guess I could let you in. You did? Well, let me see! Let me see! You dare set foot in El Big Top? The shrine to the great joke? The blood of El Payaso Rojo stains this sacred ground. When our people came to Arriba, the Red Clown was waiting. He went among the weak and the suffering and offered them the wisdom of the apocalypse. Those with the courage to listen were taught the great joke and became his payasos. Oh, si, sí, cabrones. El payaso rojo taught it to his disciples in this very place. It goes like this. The world is dead. Mock the weak and the stupid. Fuck up their shit for laughs. Or get fucked up yourself. When our people came to Arriba, the Red Clown was waiting. He went among the weak and the suffering and offered them the wisdom of the apocalypse. Those with the courage to listen were taught the great joke and became his payasos. Because the great joke demanded it. Mark the weak lest ye be mocked in turn. Either you laugh, or you die. Payasos, kill the unbelievers!
Actually, hang on. You've been so... I know, huh? Thanks for recognizing. So long, lambs. Cemetery. As the dastardly villain closed in, he was confronted by Tornado Lou, the sultry songbird of the Trigger Whiskey Saloon. Now, hey now, it's the Desert Rangers again. You kind of taking advantage of me now, but so long, Rangers. Shot. Stupid bitch! Take cover and be careful. The boss wants these two alive.
Rangers, you look like prayers answered. I knew Jesus wouldn't abandon us. Those goons were sent by a thug named Moss Kogan. They were trying to take my sister. I thought it'd be enough to leave Colorado Springs, but... In hindsight, I suppose it might have been stupid. Of course they'd follow us. But I didn't know what else to do. We're in over our heads. If you hadn't stepped in when you did... Attention, Rangers. This is Moss Kogan of the Hundred Families. I heard on the grapevine that you've taken up with a pair of no-good, debt-skipping lowlifes. So you know, we have taken up a position outside, and we are armed and dangerous. But this doesn't need to come to violence. I am a reasonable man. And I am happy to negotiate. Please, Rangers. Whatever he's saying, it... Oh, please don't let them take my sister. They'll hurt her. <laughs> Let's see, Rangers. life thief. She deserves the Patriarch's justice for stealing from me. I don't know what those lying devil women said to you, but I'll have you know that they're thieves as well. They took a small fortune from my coffers. I'm just here to take back what's mine. I can't keep lying. Yoon, I'm sorry. He's right. But I didn't know what else to do. We were desperate. I'm sorry. Nice to see at least one of you is worthy of that Jesus fella you keep talking about. Well, you heard them, Rangers. They're thieves. I should drag them back to Pillory Square. However, I'm a reasonable man. All I want is my money. Those two can go where they like after that, so long as they promise I'll never have to lay eyes on them again. No! Rangers! That's a life sentence! Should have thought about that before she took my money! Either way, I'm not a cruel man. Since... Miss Kim He here is so desperate to help her sister. I'm gonna offer a compromise. These two have gotta work for me for seven years. After that, we're done. No, 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 no! He can't take my sister! This is my fault! R Rangers, please don't let him take us both! It's both of them or nothing, Rangers. Hardly the Patriarch's jurisdiction, <laughs> but I'll take it. Come along, ladies. You fucking assholes, you fucking jerks! Yoon, this was clearly God's will. He wants us to make amends. That's the spirit, Kim. <laughs> Rangers, oh, thanks for bringing them in. A little something for your trouble. Come along, ladies.
Desert Rangers again. You all been making a ni- So long, Rangers. Y'all here for the barbecue? Oh, help yourselves! And make sure to say hello to the boss while you're at it. If you ask real nice, he might even let you take a turn on the spit. Yeah. <laughs> Ever fallen in love with long hair? Hey there, partners. Name's Roland Giff. Welcome to my jamboree. Now step right up and get yourself some grub. Yeah. You ain't had nothing like this, friends. This little lady's been slow roasted till the meat just falls off the bone. Ooh hey I knew you folks was all right the minute I laid eyes on you. Listen, now that we all acquainted, maybe you could do me a little favor. Some of my people have gone missing, and I am keen to get them back. There are five folks I'm looking for. A young feller named Alfredo, a sweet little filly named Arlene, and three brothers, Daryl, Daryl, and Larry. Last I heard, Larry and the Daryls are bison ranchers. Alfredo's working at the bazaar, and Arlene was camping out downtown in Colorado Springs. I want them back, dead or alive, understand? Now there's a reward for bringing in all five. Yes, sir, something you can't find anywhere else. If you find them, you let me know.
Homestead outside Denver. The oil's flowing again! Honest to God, I didn't think we'd last another day. Now, we got our heat back and enough to spare to run the generator at night. The missus is cooking up something special to celebrate. Oh, it's gonna feel good to have hot food again. Heroes! You're back! I'm so happy to see you! Thank you for your so kind of you to say so. Breeding does matter, I always. Bye now! And don't forget! Priceley's got the best prices!
monster army has been around for a while. Flab's always going on about the old... Uh, oh, hola, amigos! <laughs> yes... Yeah? That chingado loco tell you what he had me cooking? Men, women, kids... I had to get out, and I'm not going back. You hear me? Okay, okay, take it easy! I'll go after my shift ends. But mark my words, cabrones. Sooner or later, Gif's gonna turn on you too. Count on it. Adios, pendejos! Oh, good. Dr. Coldcut. Ah, oh, you again. What is it? For the heroes of the bazaar? Well, this one's on the house. Just this once, though. See ya. Hey, if you're into weird shit, check out Quarix's museum. So long, lambs. Howdy, His name's O'Leary. We say you're them Rangers. The saviors of the refugees. Boy, are we glad to see you. In fact, was gonna donate this at your HQ when we got to CO Springs, but you're here, so here you go. Oh, that's good to hear, Rangers. Thank you. We'll spread. Oh, thank you. It ain't much. Rangers, you came! We're in dire straits here. Don't you gotta help us! 
Them crazies were demanding our bison to turn him into weapons of war. Sick fucks wanted to graft machine parts onto them or something. When they started machining them up, the bison fought back. They don't like to be messed with, and they're damn fierce. Masters had their hands full, for sure. They done camped out at the side door on the right. Won't keep them out long. It's our breeding pen, and most of our bison are in there. They must have noticed us trying to reinforce it and decided it was the best way in. I'll show you the way, but I am done as soon as we see them. They're crazy. Follow me. The sick bastards are up there. I'll just hang on back while you take care of things. Wouldn't want to get in the way. job you done there, Rangers. And since you're taking care of us, seems only fitting we take care of you. We could send some meat over to your HQ every so often. Sound good? Well, well, you did save our bacon. We can send you one of our prized bison. You'll never find a better friend in man or nature. Any 
chance you can clear some vermin off the ranch before they go after one of our bison? Thanks, Rangers. I knew we could rely on y'all. Last we saw, they were out on the ice floe out back. We take our bison out there to drink, so those vermin are a bit of a problem. I'll leave you to it and go tend to the bison. Poor girls need some calming down. You come find me when those vermin are dealt with.
think you do? Rangers work fast. Thank you for clearing out those vermin. We'll be happy to send you the finest of our bikes to get to your headquarters.
again. Oh, is yeah, yeah, me too. So long, Rangers. Welcome back. So long, lambs. Copy that. Toe's on the way. France? Something I can do for you? Did he tell you why? 
Because that sick son of a bitch is after a new wife. The last one got a little too old and ran her mouth a little too much, so she wound up on his spit with an apple between her teeth. The hell with that! And the hell with you if you think I'm going back there! Well, damn, you make a good point there. All right, I'll leave in a few after I pack my things. You need to make sure I'm not walking back in unprepared. But if I get roasted for this, I hope you choke! I reckon we're done here. Get along! Partners, what's cooking? About time. Maybe now I can take a break from cooking once in a while. You got anything else for me? Well, hot damn. Much obliged, partners. Yeah, that little lady's gonna be my wife. <clears throat> if she knows what's good for her. You got anything else for me? Can't say I'm surprised. The Daryls always were stubborn and stupid. You got anything else for me? That boy wouldn't no reason if it walked up and kicked him in the nuts. You did what you had to do. You got anything else for me? That's a pity. Larry was the smart one. I appreciate you going to the trouble to dig him up. <laughs> That's the last of the runaways. I'm much obliged, friends. Now, if you hadn't turned up when you did, they might have all gotten away. I promised you something mighty special for all your hard work. Here's the key to my shop. Go get yourself one of my pitmaster suits. Now, you'll be a true BBQ pitmaster. Fighters in the mountains. Rendezvous.
rendezvous at Snowed Inn Resort. Repeat. indistinct radio chatter originating from somewhere close to it's doing a hell of a job jamming up the airwaves sounds like some kind of code it may just be some pre-war broadcast but might be worth investigating i can't lock down an exact spot but it's definitely coming from somewhere up in the mountain range near your location let me know if you find anything hq over and out
these noisy human oafs shooting their way into my rangers i thought we left you murderers behind in arizona what are you doing here strange to you perhaps but perfectly understandable to its intended recipients i am founding a synth utopia and have put out the call to my brothers and sisters across the waste to join me. Here, I shall love them, and repair them, and keep them safe from the cruel world of humankind. Different rangers, same savagery. I have prepared for this. Sons, daughters, help me slaughter these vermin! Right? is inevitable. 
Our ecosystem is failing. Our societies are crumbling under the weight of our own lesser angels. We must look to the stars for the continuation of our species. Our future is not Earth, but a new world awaiting its new tenants. If we are to colonize another planet in our solar system, we must devise a humanity that can not only survive this new world, but thrive there. A new human. That is our mission. Copy that. Toes on the way. at Kuvale.
you're looking for guns, the sanctified Piscatelli has the best. Guns sanctified with blood, blood sanctified by g hello again, strangers. Certainly. Hello again, strangers. Certainly. for your take your time zero priceless products are price to please
Minerve autem noctu acustos, coniungere nobis. Venite ad cor montis. City Cemetery by the evil Hogo Fogo. But Doug Badman means to make the villain pay for killing his sweetheart, Tornado Lou. As Winifred looks on, both men reach for their guns. No, Doug, don't! Signo secute. See you, Rangers. Hoping to get to call. Thanks. Be seeing you.
Bacon time! <laughs>
Dorsey. Yeah, you found him. That old bastard Saul send you. It wasn't the Patriarch that brought us here. It was me. I'm Lucia Wesson, and I'm here for vengeance. For justice for what you did to my family. Wesson? <laughs> I thought the Reed boy took you all to the Garden of the Gods. You could never count on the Reeds to do anything right. Say, speaking of fathers, did you know that? Liberty Buchanan's got a hold of yours. I mean, go right ahead and kill me. One way or the other, I know I'm dying today. But you should know that old Percival brought all this down on you himself. He worked with the Patriarch to eradicate my family. Just because we wanted old-fashioned American elections. Bet he didn't tell you that, did he? What? But... he would never... Even if that's true, what right did that give you to kill my family? I did nothing to you. My little brother did nothing to you, but you've destroyed us just the same. It was never about you, little Wesson. It was about hurting your father. He destroyed the innocents in my family because he didn't like what I had to say. Turnabout's fair play, I guess. I am truly sorry for your loss. Take consolation in knowing that you're about to have revenge. Everything. My sons and I planned it. Word came that Buchanan was sending for help trying to shore up his shaky throne. Didn't know much about you, but I did know I couldn't let aid reach him. Got the whole extended family together, and all our honorary members. Liberty said I was moving too soon and told me to wait. I thought she was being too cautious. Figured I'd get the revolution started on my own. Take out you and the Patriarch all at once. Guess Liberty was right, and I was wrong. We fled to the plains. Had to figure out how to live rough and blend in. Our kids who were born out there may as well be savages. We fought, and we scrapped, and we starved. When the Patriarch exiled Liberty, she came and found us. Offered us a shot at getting revenge on her father. I knew she was using me. But hell, seeing Saul's own daughter betraying him was worth it. Must be eating him alive. Yeah, we could've. But we didn't. Mistakes were made and people died. Story of the fucking world, right? Speaking of people dying, I reckon you killed my son, Jared. What about my other son, Erastus? I haven't heard any word from him. Do you know what happened to him? My poor, sweet boy. The planes turned him into the brute that you saw. That's not who he really was. You can take some consolation in knowing that you've managed to do what Buchanan couldn't. You finally wiped out the Dorseys. Let me tell you something. Those gangs are living on a knife's edge of starvation. They have to fight. Have to kill. If they don't put the fear of God in their neighbors, their neighbors are coming for them. Good. Well, this is the part where you kill me, right? The last thing you're going to see is a Wesson pulling a trigger on your worthless hide. I want you on your knees, Dorsey. I want you staring up at me. 
I want you thinking about my little brother and my mama. I won't beg. I don't want you begging. I just want you thinking. Now look at me. You think it's true? What he said? That my daddy murdered the Dorseys just for wanting elections? We should find my father. We can ask him. He'll tell me the truth. Come on. Our work here is done.
Just sit tight, November. Help's coming. What kind of name is that? Anyway... I shouldn't be saying this, but... Hey, you're keeping people alive, Rangers. That's a good thing in my book. Even if it is a bit tight in here. Happy to. Take a look. It saved us a world of trouble, no lie. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. We still shouldn't have saved us.
Hey, November. Got a delivery for you. Glad to see you back, Rangers. Cleaned up the worst of the mess in your absence. Now, what can... A smelly old prospector came by. Don't know what he was talking about. Hopefully you do. I'll be here. Lieutenant Train Zhang, Rangers. I've brought a me- Colonel Death has info for you that's too sensitive for the airwaves. She wants a face-to-face. -face. Sent me to arrange it. The house of the Hoon family. Just your squad. Nobody else. Will you come? Thanks, Rangers. I'll be here until you get back. Team November, we've got trouble. Scar collectors are attacking the perimeter at multiple points. We're coordinating the defense now, but we need all hands on deck. We'll do. Guys, over here! Look out there. Rangers! Come out and play! Liberty says... Thanks for dealing with her brothers. Now, deal with this. Let's party!
No one can stop the Rangers. Moving to flight! Hey, cut it out! Hey, cut it out! What do you need, Rangers? I'll do what I can. Have a seat. If it ain't cut, don't stitch it. Yeah, all I've seen so far is cold walls and locked doors.
pleased you were able to rescue so many of your comrades in Aspen. Time to take some chances and expand man's horizons. I wonder if there will be conflict. There's no more exhilarating feeling than being shot at with no result. Death will be along just as soon as I make sure you're all here. And you haven't brought along any unexpected guests. Can't be too careful these days, right? Glad we have an understanding. Well, looks like everyone's here who's supposed to be here, so I'll give her a ring. One sec. All clear. Come ahead. <clears throat> Face to face at last. And just as handsome as I thought you'd be. These folks are alive today because you chose to help them, even though it meant going against the Patriarch's orders. To my mind, that's the Ranger way. Helping the helpless ahead of the powerful. Just something to keep in mind as you hear me out. Well, ain't you polite. Hope that bodes well. Now, what with you not taking Saul's sons out like I asked? I'm guessing we've got different ideas about how things in Colorado should play out. But I'm still hoping you'll come around, November. So here's the deal. As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. And second... Shit! Scar collectors. Well, well. Speak of the devil and her minions shall appear. Looks like Liberty overheard our rendezvous call. Guess we'll have to deal with this before we continue.
As my friends and I see it, two things gotta happen to save the people of Colorado from tyranny and slaughter. First, Liberty and the gang she's gathered out east have to be eliminated. Second, and you're gonna love this, the Patriarch's gotta go too. I love the people of Arizona. Arizona is my home. But are you willing to save lives there at the expense of lives here? Are you okay sending home food spattered with innocent blood? 
The Rangers have fought tyranny since the beginning, without compromise. How can we continue to do that if we take handouts from a tyrant? How can we pretend we're heroes if we do his dirty work to get it? Sorry, I had this argument with General Woodson a hundred times. A sure deal was more important to him than a moral one. That's why the advance team went dark and decided to do this on our own. Of course, it turned out we couldn't do it on our own, which is why we were so happy when you showed up, and why we're here now, asking you for help. Oh, thanks for hearing me out. Uh, let's talk about Liberty first. I've gotta hand it to her. Daddy's little girl has done the impossible. She's united the boldest and baddest warlords of the Eastern Plains, and she's getting ready to lead them into Colorado. When she does, well... <sighs> well, that'll be the end of this place. Every man, woman, and child from here to the Rockies will be killed, enslaved, or taken as a sacrifice. And their houses and towns burn to the ground. None of us want that, right? Oh, I don't mind about that. So long as you change your mind about him after. So? Glad to hear it. So here's the plan. Part one, help Ironclad Cordite take control of Liberty's gangs. Then, part two, let him lead them all off to Kansas, where he can achieve his blood-soaked destiny without getting any on us. I know you've got him on ice back at Ranger HQ. Well, it's time to dust him off and put him to good use. Now, I'm guessing y'all have some questions. Pretty simple, really. The Patriarch has spies watching Liberty's compound. If you show up, those spies will think you're there on Daddy's behalf, and they'll be happy to see you. If we show up, our plan is revealed, yeah? And that would give the Marshals a chance to button up Colorado Springs before we make our attack. They'd be waiting for us. Now that's gonna be a fight. Basically, while you're taking care of Liberty, my team will be in Colorado Springs, softening the ground. Once you finish up out there, you'll come back and help us corner the man and bring him down. Our primary concern, other than ending the bloody reign of the Buchanans, is minimizing civilian casualties. That means you've got to ride herd on your crew and watch who you ally yourself with. For instance, we don't want the gangs coming to the party if Cordite wants to come along and get his revenge on the Patriarch, fine. But he leaves his army at home, no matter how tight a hold he thinks he's got on him. We want to be the good guys here, so we've got to do this clean. Rape and pillage is a surefire way to turn people against their liberators. Keep the peace, keep things fair. I don't see the Rangers running things. I see our job as keeping the playing field even. There's always a lot of weasels that come out of the woodwork after a big man falls, trying to grab a piece of the pie. So we're just gonna hang around, and every time a weasel pops their head up, we'll whack them. At the same time, whenever somebody comes along who tries to take care of the people, all the people, we'll help them out. But we ain't gonna be anybody's muscle. We'll answer to the people, nobody else. I admit, that'll be a temptation, but we're gonna try to fight against it. I don't know what a good leader is gonna look like, but I sure as hell know what a bad one looks like. Weed in the garden, that's what we'll be doing. Just weed in the garden. All right then, what's it gonna be? being hurt now? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna give you Liberty's location anyway. No matter what future we want, she's gotta be stopped, right? All I ask is, when you're finally standing face to face with her, please at least consider dealing with her our way and put a bullet between her eyes. Everything else we talked about? Well, let your conscience be your guide. <laughs> Good luck, cowboys. We'll talk again when Liberty's taken care of. Huh.
November. This is Ranger HQ. Are you Just sit tight, November. Help's coming. Quicker to just put a new engine in. If we had a new engine, uh, good point. The monster army has always dealt square with Iron Thunder. Of course. Let's see if we can find what you want. I feel bad for the refugees. A lot of people are pissed at them, like it's their fault they're in this situation. Happy to. Take a look.
Stay sharp. Maybe I'll join the Marshals. I do like the rough people. Oh, it's the heroes who captured Let's. I'm sure they could use my help. I've got my own blackjack. Huh. <laughs> 